Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Slash687 here back at it again with another PC build guide video. I apologize, I haven't uploaded in a week. I was away for 4th of July and you know how that is. You go away and next thing you know you haven't uploaded in a week. So, I'm back here and I'm back at it with a $500 VR ready gaming PC. A great thing about this PC is it has a lot of room for upgrades in the future. I didn't go for any outdated socket types or any, you know, anything that's really outdated. These are all current parts. These are all still uh, upgradable. They're still relevant. And overall, for $500, you're getting a very, very good VR-ready gaming PC that can play, you know, 1080p, no problem, 1440p gaming not a problem with this PC. Let's get right into it. So starting off with the CPU, I have the Intel Core i3-6100. It is a 3.7 gigahertz dual core CPU that does support hyper-threading, so you're getting four threads here, which is gonna be great for applications that do support hyper-threading. It's gonna be great for gaming especially. It's not gonna bottleneck our GPU, and since it is a Skylake CPU, you can upgrade it later to an i5, like 6500, or whatever you desire. So there is room for upgrading down the line, but for now, this i3-6100 is very, very good, and it's going to be able to hold up for any kind of gaming that we're going to throw at it. For a gaming PC on a budget, you really can't beat this CPU. Next up, the motherboard. I have an Asus H110M Micro ATX Socket 1151 motherboard. This thing supports 32 gigs of RAM, has uh, support for two sticks of RAM, and like I said, it is a Socket 1151, so we can support our Skylake CPU, the i3-6100, and and it does have an upgrade path as far as the CPU is concerned. Like I said, you can swap it out for a i5-6500 down the line if you believe it's necessary. So for only $52, you're getting a platform that's going to allow you to upgrade down the line, which is always a very good option uh, when you're dealing with a gaming PC in this budget. $500 to be able to upgrade down the line, very good idea and a very good deal. For the memory, I went with a crucial 8GB kit, it's DDR4 clocked at 2133MHz and it comes in two 4GB sticks. It's very basic RAM, no heat shields or anything like that, but it will get the job done. It's the cheapest kit of 8GB RAM that comes in two sticks that you can get. It's only $31 right now for 8 gigs of DDR4, it's a great deal, and 8 gigs is really all you need in a build like this. For the storage, I went with a Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB 7200 RPM hard drive. I usually go with a Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive, however there's been an increase in price on it, so now the Western Digital Caviar Blue is the cheaper option and therefore the better option. These things have very low failure rates, uh, they run like a beast, they're fast enough to get the job done, and for only $47.49 you really can't beat this hard drive right now. I used to prefer the Seagate because of its lower price, but now that the uh, price has swung in the favor of this hard drive, I gotta go with it. Only $47, great deal here. However, if you can afford this to go a with a two terabyte hard drive, I would recommend that because files are just getting bigger and bigger and one terabyte doesn't get you nearly as far as it used to. But for the price, one terabyte, not bad at all. Next up, for the video card, this is the part you've all been waiting for, it's the newest, the latest, the greatest, everybody's been talking about this thing, it is the RX 480, I went the Sapphire version here, it's a 4GB of VRAM model, not the 8, but 4GB of VRAM is sufficient, and for gaming on a budget, you really can't beat the RX 480 right now, it is on par with the GTX 970, which, remember last year, or the year before, was about $320, so you're getting, for $200, uh, video card that's gonna support VR very well and is gonna be able to play 1080p and even 1440p games very well and yes it can run Minecraft. This is the golden age of PC gaming when you can get a $200 GPU that can run games this well and to pass up a deal like this when you're looking for a budget GPU is just silly so definitely go with the RX 480. Everyone's buying them up right now though, so they're kinda hard to come by, but if you can find one, it's definitely worth the wait. Next up for the case, I went the Cooler Master N200 Micro ATX Mid Tower Case. This is a very good case for an entry-level gaming PC. It supports everything we could possibly need. It's gonna be able to fit our motherboard, plenty of room for hard drives and expansion and good airflow, good everything you really look for in a gaming PC. As far as aesthetics go, I really do enjoy it. I think it looks clean, professional, not too flashy, but I'm not really into those flashy cases. So for $41, a great way to house this incredible build. 
Lastly, the power supply. I pretty much just go with whatever is the most reliable for the money, and right now that just so happens to be the Raid Max Cobra 500 watt 80 plus bronze ATX power supply. For $25, you're getting an 80 plus certified power supply, 500 watts. It's going to be plenty to power this build. Raid Max does make a pretty decent power supply. I wouldn't put them up there with EVGA or Corsair as far as reliability and build quality go. And it does have some funky looking green lighting in there, so that might clash with the uh, design and the aesthetics you want inside the PC. But when it comes down to it, I'm more about performance than aesthetics, so for $25, you're getting a power supply that's definitely going to do the job here, going to power a build fine with 80 plus bronze efficiency. That's unheard of at the $25 price level in a power supply, so I had to go for it. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. That's a $500 gaming PC that can do VR, that can do 1080p, do 1440p. It's just amazing how far these budget gaming PCs have come, as, especially with the launch of the R. 480 just completely throwing off the price brackets now we can build stuff like this for only $500 it's really incredible how far everything's come when you're looking at budget gaming it's a golden age of PC gaming it's a great time to be a PC gamer and like I said if you guys can get your hands on an RX 480 it's a very very good deal so I hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to click that like button if you have any questions be sure to leave a comment and if you're interested in purchasing this PC please use the links in the description and I get a small kickback through my Amazon affiliate links so if you do use those it helps me out a lot helps me build PCs in real life to show to you guys to benchmark and to overall just increase the quality of my videos so like I said, hope you all enjoyed, and have a great night. Peace.